do I fancy double 12 or double 8? Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Fat 9, double 8. Shake his hand. Just like that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the darts class. That little video there was just a joke around the video that's gone a bit viral on social media recently of Ted Hankey talking to himself, I say talking to himself, um, having a bit of a weird one to be honest, um, whilst throwing against John Boy Walton in a BDO event. Now Walton nu op tops, dus zal Hankey dit toch gaan wil uitgooien om de wedstrijd. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Fuck, nine double eight, shake his hand. Just like that. Come on. Now I don't think I'm going to say too much more on Ted Hankey at the moment uh, but that video did get me thinking uh, for an idea of a good video and I thought um, let's have a look at some weird darts moments. Now I didn't want any controversial moments or where there's any needle on the stage or anything like that, I just thought stuff that like that make you go what on earth is going on? So I took a little dive down into YouTube um, and I found this video. So watching this video it made me abandon the idea of the weirdest thing in darts um, just because it blew my mind a little bit that I hadn't seen it before. Um, I wonder if I'm the only person that hasn't, well obviously I'm not the only person because it's got loads of views, um, but I wanted to see what your opinions were on this. Now the video comes from the first round of the 2016 BDO World Women's Darts Championships where Dee Bateman is playing Trina Gulliver. If you want to watch the whole video, I'll put the link in the description. Um, it's worth doing because the leg before this, Bateman needed 52 with two darts left in hand, went for a big 20 and hit a double one and then just missed the ball. Um, but the thing that really caught my eye obviously with this is how they worked out the closest to bull. So it went to a deciding leg um, and people that are aware of the PDC style of doing things, you have three options. The dart is either a bullseye, an outer ball or 25, or you miss the ball completely. Now these are the rules the PDC play when players are um, bulling up before the start of a big game. And if we go way back when to the 2006 PDC World Championship Finals, you'll see how important one of the rule changes were. Because at this point, you were allowed to ask the referee to leave the opponent's dart in the board if it was a good guide. You could see Raymond van Barneveld did this in 2006 to his advantage, using Phil's dart as a lie and a marker to hit the bullseye and get the throw for the deciding leg. Now the BDO's rule on this back in 2016 was different to any other I've ever seen in pub darts, super league darts, county darts, any darts on the TV, I've never seen this before. So rather than removing the dart from the board, you keep the dart in the board and the closest to the ball throws first. There's nothing too unusual about that and that's a pretty standard pub rule. But here you can see on two occasions, the players ask for the dart to be adjusted to lie flat in the board. Now obviously they can use this as a marker, but when you play pub darts and you get one that misses the ball just below and stands up, people literally shout, good blocker, that's a good dart if you're not going to hit the ball. So that was really, really strange that they would allow in such a big event as the Women's World Championships to adjust the dart downwards. The commentator even says in all his years covering darts, he's never seen it either. So I just thought I'd put the question out there, has anyone ever played this rule in any standard of darts at all? Because it's a new one on me. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on the Darts Class.